Well, you're going to Wembley. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you know. Look at this. Look at that. That's pretty much every week. Uh, you know, so we couldn't have done it without the supporters and the members and the families. Yeah, um, it's outrageous. How special is that the effort you had to put in out there today to get the win? Yeah, 110% plus more, you know. But we uh, it's unexplainable, you know, the boys we, we just play for each other and you know it got us across the line in the end. <laughs> it's the best feeling in the world. You know, obviously we got one more hurdle of the day, but uh, we put so much into that game and we'll enjoy it. I'm going to say, you seem to pour everything you had into that out there. Yeah, definitely. You know, like Warrington, they're a famous outfit. They've, they've been there and done it a few times in the last uh, five years, so it's a big task today. And they're coming back and we just held on. We just held on. I'm going to say, you really had to, to dig deep time and time again throughout that game of rugby league. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, back in areas of our own half, got the nerves going a bit, but uh, we're an awesome squad and you know, we deserve, we deserve something out of this season. It means a lot to a lot of people and these have been fantastic all year and you know, that moment for them. 1-17, to 17, everybody contributed that. Yeah, they did great and we needed to. You know, we were under the pump there that, that second half but we found a way to win and really proud of the boys' efforts. And, like I said, that was, that was for them. You just seemed to find something extra when you needed to out there tonight. Yeah, we did. We did. But, um, you know, it means a lot to a lot of people. This, and uh, you know, I'm really pleased for you know for the chairman and, and the board of directors. You know, they've invested a lot of money and time into into this club to make it you know a great club that it is. And um, you know, that one that's for them as well. A Wembley trip, what dreams are made of? Uh, can you uh, can you only imagine what it's going to be like? Oh, it's, mate, it's, it's a great experience. You know, everybody's written us off this year. Yeah, we've not played particularly well the last few weeks, but like I said before, we found a way to win. And, um, you know, really proud of the boys. And for the group, you know, that's a massive win in the context of your season, isn't it? A real confidence booster going into these middle eights as well. Yeah, massive, massive boost, you know. Um, all the boys change homes, the staff, the fans, everyone's buzzing at the club at the minute and hopefully we'll take that confidence into the, into the next three weeks of the, of the Super 8s and then the finals around the corner. I'm sure being one of the longest serving OKR players, you, you, you're well versed in the, in the history of the club and the, and the last uh, cup final win again against your city rivals of FC, so I mean all, all that's going to come to the fore between now and the, and the end of August, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I think the city will go mad, especially the especially east side of the city will go mad about this now. Everything will be, will be brought back up, the history, what it meant to people back then. Uh, and it'll mean just as much to this set of players now going there, you know. The last time I was there was, was um, a long time ago, um, 1980-something. Um, so it's a very long time. For me personally, I've been here a long time. We haven't, we haven't come close. Um, so it's going to be, for myself personally, I believe it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for myself. Um, and maybe a lot of the players at the club as well, so we can't wait to get there looking forward to it and, and ready to go.